Hi, this is Angie Hotz, and I am going to demonstrate um, boiling instruments for uh, immediate use. So I'll go over here and show you what I have for my stuff. Um, this was a little tricky. I'm going to try something that I'm going to see if I can't figure out, figure it out kind of as I go. It was a little tricky to not have sterile tongs or forceps in order to pick up the instruments from the pot. So what I'm going to do, oh, I can't turn this around. Shoot. Okay. What I'm going to do is have tongs that I'm going to boil like this in with my other instruments. Um, okay. So I have my instruments. I put them in the pot. I think maybe um, I haven't decided which would be best to put them in the pot first or um, like I don't want anything to splash if they're already in the pot, but I will just be careful <laughs> for now. We'll see. Like I would like to know opinions. That didn't splash at all. So I'm filling it with water and it said on the, <laughs> on the um, guide to do two inches over. Um, and I don't, I don't have <laughs> instruments, so I have some tweezers, and I have some tongs, and I have um, a fork and a big spoon. So, filling it up with water, and I think probably about like that. And then over to the stove, which I'm not going to actually boil. I'll put it there. I don't know. I'm hold those. I want them, I don't want them in the water completely, but it doesn't really matter what I have planned. So, like we would pretend that we turn it on, boil, 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 boil. Okay, so we'll say that it boiled. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. So my tongs kind of, I mean, they, they, got, they got sterilized. They're in there. Um, and I'll just have to be like, careful when I'm taking them out. Um, okay, so this probably wouldn't be exactly where I would work. You know, I would probably be on the counter in the kitchen, but since I can't really do that, I'm just going to do that here. So this is what I'm going to put the instruments on. Sterile gloves, chopsticks. I'll show you why and hopefully it works. Okay, grab my pot, set the hot pot on my towel here, okay, and could this work for my sterile, you know, the, the drawing the sterile gloves, which has been a while since I've done sterile gloves. So this is going to be my tray that I'm going to put the instruments on, right? inside is sterile. Alright. Grab the inside cuff here and not touch anything but the inside. And I hope they're the right size. Oh, they're fine. Okay. I don't think I touched the outside, so still sterile. I should have opened both of these before I put my sterile glove on one hand, right? So this won't be a quick procedure. <laughs> I guess this is how we figure it out, right? You can do it one-handed. No problem, right? Oh, I probably touched my sterile field goal with my with my shirt when I bent over like that. So Hey, this one had two gloves in it. I didn't see that on the package. This is still sterile. I can touch. Okay. So this is still sterile. This is the easy part. 
is putting that second one on. Okay, I don't need this, but I have a second piece of paper, so this should still be sterile. Um, so, I have one hand to do the stuff with and the other one to manipulate the tools. So, I'm going to pick a hand. This is the hand that I'm going to touch the tongs with, and I will not touch them with this hand. So, if my tongs were still hot, I would probably... Now, this is no longer sterile, okay? If it was still hot and I needed them out of the water to cool, I'd pull them out and wait, but that way they're not sitting in the hot water anymore, right? So, put them down really quick. They're not gonna get hot again, right? So now I'm holding them. They were not sterile on the, on the handle and that glove was not sterile. This one is still hopefully sterile. Hopefully I haven't touched anything. I remember to put it out. Oh, you guys, these tongs are terrible. Okay, onto the sterile field. <laughs> these tongs are so bad. Okay, onto the sterile field. Onto the sterile field. Now, this can be set down, and I'm just realizing too, so still sterile. I'm just realizing that what I would have done differently is I would have left this sterile glove that I took off of here, I would have left it up in the corner. That way when I'm done, I can take this one off somehow if I need to. How would I take that off? Um, yeah, I would just have to do, I would have to do another pair of sterile gloves, I think. But anyways, this is this one is sterile, so I can touch the instruments and they're on that sterile field and they're ready to be used. So basically what I would do is have to just take them both off um, and put on fresh ones, right? So I would be sterile again. 